So maybe you're looking for a new keyboard. Me personally, I have upgraded my keyboards over time with streaming and content creation. Over the course of my content creation and streaming career, I guess you could say, um, I have slowly over time upgraded my keyboard. Uh, I first started out with the Logitech G series keyboard, which was a full frame keyboard, had the built in um, wrist rest and everything. Um, and it was fine for when I was playing from console and stuff. Uh, well, streaming from console and, you know, making content from you know playstation xbox whatever and then i started getting into you know playing on pc with a mouse and keyboard and you know streaming so with a lot of like usage of desk space with the more gear and stuff i got i started looking at a smaller form factor keyboards and i started looking and looking and looking and i landed between a 60 percent keyboard and a 65 percent keyboard um and then one day when i was shopping i happened to be in gamestop um and I saw a Razer Huntsman Mini and I was like, oh, Razer, nee. but it's a it's a 60 percent. You know, I'll get it. Um, first thing I noticed when I took out the box, uh, the one the version that I had had the purple switches from Razer in it, which is the tactile purple switches. They're really click clack loud and everything like that. I dealt with it pretty much, you know, with a lot of background noise, the pinging and all that stuff, getting into my mic and everything. And um, recently I ran into an issue where one of my keys would just automatically press itself and just, you know, keep on running. So unfortunately, well, unfortunately and fortunately enough, I didn't use that key um, like in ga video games. But when I'm sitting there trying to type something, um, the key would just literally press itself randomly and just keep on going. And uh, that became an issue. So I decided to upgrade my keyboard and I went on Amazon and I found a keyboard. And it's very interesting. So we're going to talk about that today. guys welcome back to the video today and then today is video i just want to let you guys know this is my first time really trying to get b-roll for product shots and everything like that so hopefully the video turned out as of recording this i'm recording this after i already shot the b-roll so we'll see how it works out and for the keyboards that we're going to talk about today um nobody sent it out i purchased both of these with my own money uh, or all these items with my own money there will be links in the description to the amazon pages i do not get any kit back it's not affiliate links um so if you want to go ahead and pick it up for yourself then by all means click the links in the description if you want to talk about these any further then you can always leave a comment down below uh, the channel and then if you want to talk to me or maybe about it live or something like that or you know my experiences you know you know a couple weeks down the line months down the line or something like that and you're wondering if i'm still using it you can always check out my live streams and come by and you know we can have a conversation over there and again that will be in the description so we're going to be talking about two keyboards today and uh, the first keyboard that's going to be up is the xvx mk61 60 percent mechanical keyboard that you can find on amazon currently um it is at 80 dollars uh usually it's at 89.99 at the time of recording um and in this box you get a usb dongle that makes it wireless um, and then you also get a usb cord uh, to charge it and um, 
the only problem i would say with the usb dongle um just to interject real quick um i've seen a lot of comments on the the product page itself i would suggest getting a usb hub like a cheap one that you could throw away or something like that um for it um just because some people are saying that the usb dongle can get caught in their computer's usb and then when they try to take it out for whatever reason they try to remove it i don't know why they're trying to remove it but um it gets caught in the keyboard and uh in the pc itself and obviously it you can't really use the keyboard anymore and then you just lose a usb port on your computer so just keep that in mind when you get this keyboard um with that being said this it comes with a keycap puller this keyboard is not hot swappable as far as the um the switches this is what it looks like you could probably already tell from the thumbnail and the b-roll of these keyboards it's really nice I, in the b-roll i didn't really catch the fact that it's all the way around the keyboard i'm not sure entirely why this part is not painted um or however they got the texture on here i'm not surely why i imagine this is probably where it houses the wireless uh, components because here's the off and on switch and here's the usb uh top portion that goes so i imagine right here is where it takes up but i'm kind of disappointed in um the fact that it's not all the way through looking and playing uh video games and stuff like that and looking and, and everything gateron seemed to be uh the yellow seemed to be a good balance between somewhat quiet and on top of that good for gaming um supposedly from what i was able to glean from the little research that i did hence why i got this but this keyboard is really quiet The way they built this keyboard, it's kind of got some heft to it. And I imagine I haven't pulled it apart because I don't want to mess it up or whatever. All I did was pop the, the keycap off so you can see that it is yellow switches. But in this box, like I said, you get a USB cable, you get the USB dongle, um, and you get this uh, keycap puller. So I guess if you wanted to switch out the keycaps for whatever reason, which is kind of hard to believe since, you know, it goes with this the base of the keyboard i don't know why in particular you would want to uh switch out the keycaps on this keyboard after you know getting it for said reason of the theme also in the box which is kind of interesting but at the same not time not really it's kind of a, a waste and I'll, I'll get to that in a second um it comes with this mouse pad and it's the smallest mouse pad that you have seen in a long time a logitech uh, power play that i use uh, to wirelessly charge um my um my mouse my g502 um it doesn't even fit on this it's like two times uh, smaller than the power play thing so i can't even really effectively use this mouse pad so i did and I'll, again a links will be in the description i did go out and get a separate purchase from the same company which is weird um that they don't just include it in the in the in the box since they give you that small mouse pad anyway um you can get a separate mouse pad i think off the top of my head i think it's like 20 dollars or something like that 15 or i can't really remember on top of my head but you can check the links in the description for pricing but uh this is the bigger version of the, of the mouse mat um mine did i don't know if you can see it right left side of the sun there is some like smudging i guess of something it came in the box that way it's only like two spots but you could probably barely see it um but this is what it looks like and it's a typical you know size for a mouse mat i guess you could see say um that you can find or wherever um it has the no slick you know back covering and stuff like that the front doesn't feel like cheap like you think you would find it, and the corners don't they feel like they're the probably cheapest um if you rub against it a lot or something i can imagine um with some time you'll probably run into some fraying issues or whatever um but the top surface of the actual like printed 
top actually feels pretty good and freely and really smooth and everything like the material that it's made out of it's just wrapped up in this little box you know the box is also themed um which is really cool that the you know the company and i wish they just had a bundle and if they had bundled this keyboard for the 89 or whatever with the, the mouse pad and just like took out the other mouse pad or something like that then maybe that would justify the price of the mouse pad individually and this keyboard um but like i said uh i haven't really noticed too much with this keyboard as far as like anything bad um it just took me a while because of the keycaps uh shaped um i think i mentioned it before but i might have cut it out of this video but with the keycaps um they're they're square until they come up to the top of the keycap and then they become oval and the way they like come together on the on the keyboard because of this uh feature and how like dipped in the keycap sit uh it's really hard to um to, to not notice that they're different than regular keys um i do like this keyboard and after using it i used it for about a week and after using it um i would say i actually kind of prefer these keycaps now um that I got used to them and I, I just after a while like it took me a while to be able to get from the the razor feeling like the the tactile feedback and just the keycaps of that one um it took me a while but how much quieter these keycaps are versus those and just getting used to um like i said the texture of the keycap you know and everything it definitely does feel premium um at least to me again i'm not a big keyboard head but it feels premium to me so i could see why this would be like 80 dollars, 70 dollars, you know between that price point i could i can kind of see why my only other gripe um with the, this keyboard and you know this manufacturer or whatever the the xvx is the fact that um the software is, is bad it took me like three or four times to try to install the program or whatever um it went it open and then it just kept giving me error messages saying that the keyboard wasn't wasn't detected or whatever even though i had it hardwired into the key into my pc and i tried it also from the bluetooth version then let me put this keyboard down because it's actually kind of heavy uh for my arm i have an over mus overused muscle on my left shoulder that's why i say that um but i even re you know restarted my pcs several times and it wouldn't pop up and then you know one time when i turned off my pc because i have water cooling and stuff like that so you know i check my pc every now and then and i you know i keep my pc off i came back and i turned it on or wherever and my, you know my ssd my computer where you know boots up everything quick and i i you know stepped away for a second came back and my pc as soon as i logged in the program for this keyboard was just up on screen and it just was magically working i'm not entirely sure why it just randomly started working like that and it just randomly started popping up but it did um and even like to this day, like I still have problems getting it to open or whatever. The booklet that comes with it is very vague on how to do certain things. Um, there's no, on the keycaps, there's nothing printed underneath to let you know what the function keys are or anything like that. Um, obviously you get the, the F1 through nine or whatever. My second gripe and probably gonna be a deal breaker for a lot of people if you do like using your arrow keys with this keyboard. Um, if you hit the function key, and then you hit your like your eye or whatever for your for your um arrow keys you have to hit function i or whatever arrow key and then you have to let go of function and it's like toggling your arrow keys so then you can use your arrow keys and then you have to hit function whatever arrow keys or whatever to get it back to be able to use i or you know be able to type regularly I don't understand why they went with that functionality when i went into the program once i discovered this and that's when i was able to get sometimes a program to run i went in there and there was no option to turn off like a toggle or whatever so if you like your arrow keys and hence why i got the other keyboard um you're gonna have some issues and run into some issues i play destiny and arrows is how we emote in the game um you can set it up i guess to do be other keys like um within you know your own commands or whatever um in the game but just keep that in mind if you want that functionality it's not there this keyboard has a lot of rgb uh customizations um it's it's crazy how much patterns and everything actually comes on 
uh, with this one. And honestly, I love the, the RGB. All right, so the next company that is up is the Sky, Skylongs, Skylong. I don't know how. I don't know if that's how you say it. Skylong keyboard. Uh, um, I guess that's how you say it. It's a yellow. Um, it's yellow switch again. Gateron yellow switch. Uh, they call it their GK sixty one sixty four sixty percent keyboard um the keys are hot swappable as far as i know um they say x sk 64 hot swappable uh keyboard it works apparently for this one works for pc and mac i think the other one only works for windows i'm not entirely sure but there you go in the box you get a uh, keycap uh, key switches or puller and a um keycap puller you get that in the box which is i guess nice to come with but the keycaps are actually just square and they don't have that oval feel as the other ones these feel like a razorman huntsman mini keycap as far as um the texture is a little bit smoother than that one except for uh, i think the mini is a little bit probably rougher or, or the texture you can feel it a little bit more um in the razor huntsman mini um but this is a more i guess kind of smooth but the shape of the actual keycap is like that keyboard this, this is what it looks like it has the keycaps and it has the arrow keys and everything again i think what this company did because it's a different company the other one i think they just got those keycaps and just put it on this keyboard um this keyboard right now it's saying it's a hundred dollars but i did not get it for a hundred dollars at the time of recording it says it's a hundred dollars i did not get it i get it i got it at the same price as the other one eighty dollars um so i will definitely wait for the price to drop this one feels a little bit lighter than the other keyboard and i'll get to that in a minute um and then obviously it's not painted at all um so you lose do lose that um customization um, but these keys, they, they, they feel like just a regular keyboard or whatever you can feel it when you rub against the keyboard and everything. It does kind of remind me more of the Raisman Huntsman Mini, but again, those were the purple switches inside, um, or tactile purple switches. These ones are the yellows, so it's not as loud.
these keycaps on on this particular keyboard um again i i'm not entirely sure if they just took those keycaps from the other company and slapped it on this keyboard um because i like i said i know they sell them separately um and there's other options for this keyboard as far as in this theme um you can get the optical red or the optical yellow i got the optical yellow um they have uh two other versions of this keyboard they have one that's in a fuller i guess um size or wherever it's 80 percent or 84 keys or wherever but that one's more just like they got the space bar and like the teal theme but all they have is the space bar and then like the outer keys are gray so you definitely start losing the theme the more that you go with this company um it's not wireless there is a port right here on the side um which is kind of a downside of the reason why i got this keyboard was because you have a delete key and you have the actual arrow keys um the rgb the rgb the variations suck um i think there's nine variations where i'm pretty sure the other keyboard blows them out the water as far as that goes the, the amount of different um rgb but i'm not even gonna go into the the rgb for this keyboard but it's just your typical what you would pretty much get with rgb from the keyboard there's not that really much customization um the program is actually in my opinion i just for my pc alone um the program i could not get to run to customize this keyboard lighting and or anything like that um i was able to download it and again i tried to install it and everything but the program just never opened um it didn't even give me an error like the other one the thing about i like about this is that you do have all your function keys as far as i understand you even get the print screen um you don't have to worry about toggling the the features or anything like that with the other keyboard the only thing that i wish that with this keyboard again is that it had the painted back and everything because i just really wanted the arrow keys and the delete key i'm not a fan of the shift key on the right side being so small um but i understand trying to fit it you know in this in this space um but i am a fan you know of this keyboard i guess you could say in general overall if i had to choose between this keyboard and another one i would i would still pick the first keyboard hands down um if i'm just gaming and stuff and not worrying about editing or don't need like the print screen or the arrow keys or something like that i guess a, a statement could be argued about you know dealing with the arrow keys but with this keyboard i definitely would say um the first keyboard or whatever just because it's wireless it has that full custom painted whatever you want to call it if it's painted or, or whatever um it's a little bit heftier so you can tell that they put some more dampening inside or wherever so it does it's not as loud as the other keyboards and then on top of that on the keycaps you can swap them out for whatever reason maybe you don't like the keycaps that they gave you on that so you go out and get you know the just the keycap set or wherever which is a little bit different um but again with this keyboard the, the second one you can actually again pull, pull out the switches and, and the keycaps and put other switches in here and then maybe put the keycaps back in if you like to use these keycaps or build or wherever uh customize this keyboard or whatever but again with the first keyboard you're pretty much stuck with those uh, switches so that's gonna do it for my review on these two keyboards um i think there's other versions or whatever that have these coral themes and, and everything like that but from what i've seen these two were probably the best options um that's out there for this particular theme and again the only reason i went this theme because you know fish tank squid stuff like that i wish there was a, a theme that had like squids on it or wherever on the keycaps or wherever but this was pretty cool and i think this is a little bit different than what you would normally see on amazon as far as um when you look into keyboards or wherever there's very few and far in between um cool looking keycap or themed um keyboards that are you know under a hundred dollars that are not like completely you have to do it yourself or build it yourself again that's going to go ahead and do it for these keyboards reviews again if you're interested in picking up one of these up for yourself or mouse mat or keycap set or whatever there will be links in the description if you're interested um in furthering the conversation again you can find my twitch channel linked in the description as well you can come over there and talk to me live about it and if you have any product suggestions or something like that i should cover or maybe you found another keyboard that i may have missed on amazon or something like that leave it in the comment section down below 
below and I'll try to, you know, see if I can get a hold of it and do a review about that in the future. Also, I want to let you guys know the next product reviews and stuff coming up on the channel that I have planned is one doing about um, a setup guide or, you know, my actual office setup or wherever, and maybe give you some guys um, some thoughts or and, and suggestions about, you know, going for maybe RGB lighting, maybe the key lights that I'm using, you know, stuff like that. And in that video, I will have uh, stuff for every single budget out there. Maybe you have some money, maybe you're on a medium sized budget, maybe really on a small, tight, tight budget that you can't spend like over $200 a month, maybe a hundred dollars a month or something like that. And you're, you're trying to figure out stuff to use and everything. So I got some ideas and tips and everything like that. So if that interests you, uh, definitely stay tuned for that future video that should be coming up hopefully within the coming weeks i guess when i can get around to shooting some b-roll and everything with that being said hopefully you guys have a squid day take care god bless you and yours and i will see you guys in the next video Deuces, everybody.